Hello everyone. Welcome to Hands-On SD10 Coding Tutorial, Session 8, Seventh Character of SD10 CM Code. First, the overview of this session. So in Session 8, I will talk about why we need seventh character for some SD10 CM code. I will give you some uh, SD10 CM code statistics with and without seventh character. And also, I will go through um, what type of uh, codes need seventh character. This is really important, so that we should get familiar with uh, what kind type of codes need seventh character, so that we don't forget the seventh character. And I will give you some uh, common seventh characters, some statistics also. And finally, I will give you a lot of examples of what codes need seventh character. So why we need seventh character? So we use seventh character to specify one more piece of uh, specific inf information about patient condition. If a code needs seventh character, but it's not documented, the code won't be billable and the claim will be denied. So here is the, some uh, code uh, statistics about seventh character. This is uh, done for the 2019 version of SD10CM code. So first, we have uh, 72,004 72, number of uh, billable codes. If you include a non-billable codes, we have uh, around 94,000 code. And for the 72,000 billable codes, we have uh, around 22,000 code which doesn't have uh, character 7. But 50,000 of the uh, billable codes must have 7th character. So that's uh, around 70% of the total billable codes. So in other words, uh, 7 out of 10 codes, 7 out of 10 ICD-10CM code need a 7th character. That's a lot. And those 50,000 uh, codes with character 7 is derived from around 12,000 uh, SD10CM code. So in other words, if we don't add 7th character, the total number of billable codes for SD10CM will be around 34,000. But actually we have 72,000 billable SD10CM codes. So that's because we have 7th character. So it's really important to understand the 7th character for SD10CM code. So next, we will talk about what codes need seventh character. So the number one category is the uh, chapter 19 injury code. So here we have two columns. So this is number of codes, and this is the uh, ICD-10, this the first letter of the ICD-10CM code. So the letter started with um, if the code started with S. So there's a 34, a 30, 000, around 30,000 code needs seventh character. The next category is uh, burn code, also in chapter 19. We are, have around uh, 10,000 burn code, starting with a T, need seventh character. And th the next uh, third category is the chapter 20, external course of mobility. So we have a uh, code starting with V. So there's uh, 30, around 37 hundreds of codes need seventh character. And here with W, 1,000, and the code started with Y are also around 1,000. Around 500 letters uh, code started with X need 7th character. And then for musculoskeletal system, we have around 1,500 codes starting with M needs a 7th character. So also we have to mention that so some diabetes code need a 7th character. And the glaucoma, and then for chapter 18, uh, there's also 95 codes need seventh character. We will give you examples for each category so that you are familiar with uh, uh, which code need seventh character. Also, uh, before I give you the examples, I will give you uh, this statistics. This is the uh, seventh character A, which stands for initial 
encounter, and D for subsequent encounter, and S, that's the sequela. Those three types are the most common seventh character. So we have around 12,115 codes with this uh, ADS as the seventh character. And then we also have a GKPB, you know, around 2,000 for each as the seventh character. And then uh, we have around 500 code with R, Q, N, M, G, H, F, E, as, and C as the seventh character. And also several hundred codes actually need a number as the seventh character. So next, I'll go through the uh, format of the seventh character. Seventh character has to always to be on the seventh position. So if, if the code is the uh, have 60 digit, then you just add the seventh character at the end. For example, S60.311, abrasion of right thumb. For initial encounter, you just add an A at the end. For subsequent encounter, add a D at the end. And uh, then finally, for sequela, you just uh, add an S at the end. If the uh, code only have uh, five digits, then you have to put an X in the sixth position. So for example, insect bite of throat, the code is S10.16. That's uh, five digits. And in the sixth digit, you add an X to fill the space. And then you have the seventh character, ADS, as before. A for initial encounter, etc. And then if you have um, four digit code, you have to put the X in the fifth position and the sixth position, and then the seventh character will be at the last. So for example, the, for chronic gout, M1A.9. So in order to have a zero at the end of the, at the seventh character you, without the to tofus, so you have M1A.9XX0. With tofus, you have one at the end. And finally, we have uh, T68, which is three-digit code for hypothermia. So in this case, you have to add three axes so that you have, uh, for initial encounter, you have T68.XXXA. So A, the seventh character will be always in the seventh position. So next, I will go through uh, what code need uh, seventh character, giving a lot of examples here. So the first category we know is injury code. So whenever you have injury code, you have to think about, oh, do we need a seventh character here? So also, please use your code book. Let's uh, go to your code book to find the code for S51.001, unspecified open wound of the right elbow. So let's go to the uh, coding book. So in this case, we can just uh, search the code. That's 51.01. So we click the book sign to go to the uh, tabular list. Here is an unspecified open wound of right elbow. So if you see the sevens, that means it needs seven character. So you click the seven here, and then you see the um, code with the seventh character. So S51.001A for initial encounter. The second code is the uh, example. You need the seventh character is crushing injury of skull, S07.1. So let's go to the coding book. So again, you can search the code, but again, also you can use the browse functionality here. As you go through the, this is like um, you have a physical book. So you go to S0, S0. That's chapter 19, injury, injury chapter. S07, it should be here. So let's expand S07, and then this S07.1, crushing injury of skull. 
we have seventh reminder, seventh character reminder here. Click the seventh character, and can, you can see again uh, for initial encounter we have to use s 71 xsa with the A at the end and in the seventh position. So again, if it's injury code, we have to always remember, you know, do we need a seventh character here? The next example is a little bit complicated. So this is a fracture. For fracture code, we also need a seventh uh, character. In this case, we have uh, 16 different uh, characters for seventh, seventh character. So we can have A, B, C for initial encounter for three type of fracture. For closed fracture is A, and for open fracture type one or type two is use B, and then for open fracture type one, uh, type three A, type three B, or type three C, use C. And then also for the case where you have routine healing, and also depend on the three type of. Uh, fracture you have def as the seventh character and then for delayed healing also you have uh, three seventh character ghj and the next is the non-union situation for each type of a uh, fracture you have k m n and finally for mild union for closed fracture you have p and for Type 1 or type 2 fracture, open fracture, you have Q. And then for open fracture type 3A, 3B, or 3C, you have R. So this is for fracture. Fracture is uh, kind of complicated. You have to be very careful uh, to pick which um, seventh character you use among the 16 cases. So the next type of uh, code which needs a seventh character is the burn code. Say for example, T20.25, uh, burn of second degree of a scalp. So for initial encounter, you put an A here at the end. So you have a T20.25XA as the uh, initial encounter. Again, you can go through the uh, code book to get, get yourself familiar with the uh, this burn code here. Chapter, it's also chapter 19, I believe. Injury. You will burn corrosion of external body surface. So you just uh, get any of them, like burn, uh, burn of the chunk, any code here. So just go through the book, go through uh, the burn code, and then just check how to um, find out whether seventh character is needed or not. So there's another type of uh, code for muscul musculoskeletal system. So it needs a seventh character. So this is one example here, M48.40, fatigue of fracture of vertebra, sight unspecified. So in this case, for initial encounter, you have A, and for routine healing, subsequent encounter, using D, and then subsequent encounter, delayed healing, use G and S for sequela, sequela. So again, you can go to the uh, coding book to just uh, get a feeling of how to uh, uh, Add the seventh character. So let's go to the book just to sh show you one more example here. So we can go to the search code M40.48.40. So you get the code and then click the book sign to go to the uh, tabular list. Here, click the seventh sign here to get the code with the seventh character here, as exactly as we uh, went through in the uh, slide.
So another uh, big type of code uh, which need a service character is the exter external cause of uh, morbidity. So for example, v 43.11 .11, as car passenger injured in collision with a sport utility vehicle in non-traffic accident. So as usual, we have ADS at the end to indicate uh, what type of encounter. Also for exposure to electric transmission lines, W85, we also need uh, some character. In this case, we have uh, to pad three axes because this, the code is only three digit. Also, if we ex exposure to the uh, f flood, so X38, same ADS. Oh, sorry, there's a typo here. There should be a um, through three axes. And finally, we have uh, Y35.022, legal intervention involving injury by handgun, bystander injured. So this is a common case, ADS for the type of encounter. So there's one type of code, uh, which is in chapter 15, related to charter births, so, which will need the uh, seventh character. In this uh, slide, I will give you one example, O31.00, papyracious fetus, unspecified child master. So in this case, we have a number at the uh, seventh character. So zero for not applicable or unspecified fetus. And then the fetus number will be the uh, Seventh character. So fetus one will be the number one. Uh, will be the uh, uh, will have the one as the seventh character. Fetus two will have two as the seventh character, and so forth. Um, so finally, there's uh, two types of code we need, need to. Um, seventh character one is the diabetes code i will give you one example here e11.321 type 2 diabetes meritors with mild non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy with uh, macular edema so in, in this case you use one at the seventh character to indicate the right eye two left eye and then three for bilateral eyes and then nine for unspecified eye so we have to remember uh, for the um, diabetes which affects the eye we have to use the seventh character to specify which eye and finally for glaucoma code h40.121 we need to use the number 01234 as the uh, seventh character to indicate the stage of the uh, glaucoma so for example, zero for stage unspecified. And then uh, mild stage, you use one. And moderate stage, use two. And then uh, severe stage, three. And then finally, indeterminate stage, you use four. I think we've gone through uh, a lot of examples. Please make sure you go through the book and then uh, find all the, these examples and get familiar with what type of code needs seventh character. Uh, that's the end of this session. Thank you very much.